Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, we are going to discuss about northern blotting. So in previous videos, I have explained you about southern blotting as well as the western blotting. So the links will be provided in the description box. So people who are interested, you can watch those videos. And now coming to this northern blotting. This is a technique which is used for the detection of gene expression in the RNA. Whereas in the case of southern blotting, it is mainly used for the detection of the DNA. Whereas in the case of western blotting, it is mainly used for the detection of the proteins, right? So uh, let us see how this northern blotting technique is performed. So firstly, you are going to take a sample cell of your interest and now you are going to obtain RNA from it. Directly, we cannot extract the RNA from that sample cell, right? So the DNA can be extracted. So firstly, what you are going to do, you are going to extract the DNA from the nucleus of that sample cell. So this is your DNA which has been extracted from the sample cell and now this DNA undergoes the process of the transcription right and after doing the transcription process the mRNA will be produced or else it get formed and now that mRNA which has been formed will get translated to form the proteins right and here to be formed the proteins before itself you are going to extract this mRNA out and now we require this mRNA to get detected so firstly the DNA undergoes transcription to form the mRNA and that mRNA will undergo the trans translation process to form the proteins. And here the mRNA should get extracted and it should be done the process of northern blotting for the detection. And now here before doing the process of the gel electrophoresis what you are going to do is that here the mRNA has been extracted right. But one of the most important points you people have to remember is that the mRNA which has been extracted will be complex in structure. I mean it is tertiary in structure. So what you are going to do to convert it into primary structure. So actually the process of converting the tertiary structure into the primary structure as I have mentioned here. The conversion of tertiary structure to the primary structure is called as denaturation. So this process can be done by using a chemical called as formaldehyde. So the tertiary structure will be reacted with the formaldehyde such that it get converted into the primary structure. So this is a complex structure and it will get converted to simple structure. Simple structures are nothing but like a linear form. Okay it will get converted to the linear form. So the mRNA which will be produced will be in the linear form and those linear form of mRNA will get collected and now those mRNA will be done with the process of the electrophoresis. So now we are going to take agarose gel right and now what you are going to do is that you are going to prepare one well. So here we have took only one sample cell. If you want to take two or three sample cells then you are going to make two or three wells. So it depends upon the number of the sample cells which you are going to take. If you are going to take 10 sample cells, then you are going to make 10 wells. You are going to punch 10 wells. Actually, you are going to punch the wells uh, to, uh, to add this, all of this mRNA which are formed as been in the, in the form of a primary structure. So now this primary structure mRNA, I mean in the linear form of the mRNA molecules will be added in this well. And now here the gel electrophoresis process will be done. So if you have an idea of the gel electrophoresis, then you can understand the concept. So here you are going to add the electricity to this agarose gel and then uh, this is your negative electrode and this will be your positive electrode. I mean this region will act as a negative electrode and this region will act as a positive electrode. We know that the molecules will migrate from negative electrode to the positive electrode. So what is the main aim of this electrophoresis? Separation of the molecules. So here the molecules which you have added are the mRNA right the linear form of mRNA and those linear form of mRNA will get migrated towards the positive electrode. So one of the most important point which you people have to remember here is that the mRNA will get migrated towards a positive electrode it is okay and it gets migrated based upon its size I mean it gets separated based upon its size. So if the mRNA size is small then it get migrated or as it gets separated towards a positive electrode very fastly. If the size of the mRNA is large then it cannot be passed to the positive electrode very fastly where it gets stuck over in the negative electrode region right so this is one of the most important points you people have to remember so after the separation of the molecules then uh, the agarose gel electrophoresis process will be completed and you are going to remove this agarose gel plate right which consists of the separated molecules you are going to remove this agarose gel plate and now in the next step what you are going to do is that you are going to take a trough so this is called as a trough and in this trough what you are going to do is that you are going to place a sponge. So this is a sponge. And on this sponge you are going to place this agarose gel which consists of the separated, separated RNA molecules, right? So here previously we have done electrophoresis method and this agarose gel will be removed as I have said you. And that agarose gel plate which consists of the separated molecules will be placed on the sponge which is placed in the trough, right? 
and now what you are going to do on this agarose gel you are going to place this abm filter paper this green color one which i have drawn is called as abm filter paper so on this agarose gel you are going to place this abm filter paper and now on this abm filter paper you are going to place this paper towels so abm filter paper is nothing but amino benzoxy methyl filter paper whereas if you see in the case of uh, southern blotting we have used we have used nitrocellulose paper right so here we are going to use abm filter paper and now you are going to push this paper towels towards downside such that i mean you are going to apply pressure to this paper towels so once you apply pressure to this paper towels then the uh, strands which are separated in the agarose gel will get sticked towards abm filter paper by the capillary movement right because you are going to apply pressure uh, to this paper towels and here uh, one of the most important thing you have to people you people have to remember is that this trough consists of alkaline solution and this alkaline solution will be absorbed by the sponge and once sponge will absorb this alkaline solution it helps the strands which are present in the agarose gel to move towards the abm filter paper and that movement is called as a capillary movement right so finally the strands which has been separated in the agarose gel will get moved towards or as will get migrated towards the abm filter paper but they will get migrate with the exact location which is present in the agarose gel so the location of the separated strands will be same in the abm filter paper when compared to this agarose gel so if you see the diagram of this abm filter paper now so the, here the separated strands will get attached to this abm filter paper from this agarose gel with the help of a capillary movement right and now we are going to remove this abm filter paper from this apparatus and now we are going to on the, on the on the other hand you are going to take a plastic bag so this is your plastic bag plastic bag and in this plastic bag you are going to add the radioactive solution which consists of the probes so all of these are the probes probes are nothing but the complementary sequences which are uh, complementary to the template strand so here the probes will be uh, the probes are called as complementary strands and to this probes you are going to add the radioactive element it consists of the radioactive element right so now uh, this bag consists of the radioactive elements and now what you are going to do you are going to place this abm filter paper into this plastic bag and we know that the abm filter paper consists of the separated strands separated rna strands right and now what will happen we know that the plastic bag also consists of these probes as i have said you the probes are the complementary sequences or the complementary strands actually so now these strands which are present on this abm filter paper will act as a template strands right so all, all of this rna strands will act as a template strands for probes because they are complementary strands so now uh, the all of these probes which will get reacted with the strands but only one of the probe will get attached to this strand because it is complementary whereas the other strands are not complementary to the probes such that the probes cannot attach to this remaining strands only here one strand is complementary to the probe hence the probe can attach to this strand whereas if you see in this both uh, sequences of the rna strands the probes are not the probes were not attached because they are not complementary with each other whereas if you see here they are complementary with each other hence the probe can be attached to this strand now after this process what you are going to do you are going to remove this abm filter paper right so after removing that abm filter paper this is a this is a diagram which will be obtained here actually so these are the strands where it doesn't bind to any probe because they are uncomplementary i mean they are not complementary here also they are not complementary to the probes hence the probes cannot attach to these strands whereas here this probe is complementary to the strand hence it can attached so now what you are going to do you are going to do the process of the washing and once the washing will be done then what will happen then the all other strands which has been unbinded to the probes will be removed right and now after the washing then again you are going to remove the complementary strand i mean this probe you are going to remove that probe because there is no use of this probe because the rna strand of our interest has been detected by this probe so now this probe doesn't plays any major role so it will be removed after removing the of this probe then what you are going to do you are going to take an x ray film and you are going to place that x ray film on this abm filter paper which consists of the detected rna strand and now you are going to remove that x ray film and that uh, strand which has been present in this abm filter paper will get attached to this x ray film right so this is your strand which is present in the x ray film and now we are going to do the process of auto radiograph in this x ray film such that the rna strand of our interest will be detected in black color right so this is the rna strand gene expression uh, which has been extracted based upon our interest so in this way the nadaram blotting technique has been performed so if you like this video just subscribe my channel and also share this video to your friends thank you